Hey y'all, welcome back to a new vlog. Today is Friday, I'm starting to vlog very late. It's Friday, September 8th, so if y'all hear that beeping, that's the air fryer. Also, I look insane, like yeah, my top, like y'all have seen me wear this set, you know, before. Um, totally ruined from the Panoxyl, like I was washing my face and it just like dripped all over. So just know peroxide stains will ruin your clothes. If you didn't know, now you know, cause I didn't know. But anywho, so little quick update. I just finished editing my birthday vlog. So that's going up. So I'm gonna upload it today, of course, and it's gonna be live on Monday. So y'all get a new vlog on Monday. <laughs> and um, just a little quick update. So I actually got one more gift that I couldn't show y'all in the vlog because my sister was not in my birthday brunch. But yeah, my sister got me a really, I don't even wanna say she got me a gift. She made me a gift. So I'm putting everything back in here to like show y'all to like unbox it, <laughs> like what she got me. So first of all, the bag is very much on theme because y'all know like on my cake, um, the words were painted silver. So I am obsessed with this bag beach. Thank you, this is cute. So, um, oh yeah, another update on, in the birthday vlog. There were like so many things that I forgot to show y'all from like the birthday prep and the birthday vlog. Like in the birthday prep vlog, I definitely should have showed y'all my nails, but um, it just slipped my mind and then while I was you know filming for the birthday brunch I was trying to capture certain moments but also get the b-roll get the aesthetic shots all that so I never got to show y'all my nails when they were on and in the video y'all could see my nails a little bit but I should have definitely like showed y'all how they looked on they were super cute I still have them and I'm gonna put them back on when I film a TikTok unboxing that I have planned for my TikTok so y'all see it then but yeah they're super cute they're just like pinstriped over top of like you know baby pink base and i love it like i thought they were so cute in pictures and stuff and um i did go ahead and photoshop my nail my missing nail i'm just saying that because yeah i went ahead and did that because i was not about to look janky on my instagram pics so yeah i'm just saying but anywho oh yeah and then i also wanted to say that i totally forgot to really show y'all the cake too like y'all could kind of see it and like if you follow me on instagram you probably saw a picture of it i'll just put the picture in this video now on the screen but yeah the cake was super cute uh everyone that i gave a slice they said they liked the cake i had some of the cake myself too i did like it it was red velvet the only thing is it obviously wasn't buttercream frosting i don't think no cakes cakes are typically buttercream frosting which i think what the cake was but but red velvet is normally like ice with cream cheese frosting. So I was expecting cream cheese frosting, but I'm pretty sure it was buttercream frosting. And even then, I don't know, cause I feel like buttercream frosting is supposed to be really fluffy. I don't know. It's been a while since I've watched Cake Boss or those cake making things on TLC. I, I really don't know. But <laughs> moving on, my sister's gift. So to start off, she got me an exfoliating washcloth, which is actually quite needed at this point in time. Yeah, it's actually quite needed. Like I had told y'all in like um, some vlogs back, I buy them every, I think I had said I buy them like every three or two months, but no, I feel like at a minimum, I feel like it's like every once a month because it starts to get really not as scratchy after a couple uses. So yeah, so she got me that and then she got me these exfoliating gloves, which is so cute. They're like white. So my sister makes skincare products, so she made me a soap bar this is the soap bar i actually don't know like what is in here aside from turmeric and yeah that was like the only thing i could really tell that's in here but it's like infused with like herbs and i really actually like the soap bar because she made me one for christmas and i started using it on my back knee and i feel like my back knee looks so much better like i wish i had a before and after photo is this thing in focus? I hope y'all could tell, but like my back knee is not as dark as it used to be. Like my acne, back knee scars. Like my back knee scars used to be so much worse. And I can't wait for my sister to like make her site live so I could put y'all on because this has literally saved my back, seriously. Even like my shoulders, like, let me see. Even like my shoulders, I had a lot of like, you know, hyperpigmentation, acne spots on my shoulders. Like, like my shoulders, 
no my shoulders literally look so good like i don't have you know all of the hyperpigmentation spots that i had and also um this is so like not even needed but like a while back i was like nearing the hair off my arms and then i started to get a lot of ingrown hair so ever since i started using that soap i'm not gonna lie to y'all like that stuff really worked like my sister's products work so stay tuned like we gonna get my sister supported and y'all gonna get some good products too in the process so stay tuned and then she also made me a little sample of like some kind of lavender body butter so this is what it looks like and yeah this smells super nice and it's you know shea butter it's like a body butter and this will be nice for like going to sleep i might have to, have to start like putting this on myself like at night time so that i can get better sleep because i know lavender can even help and then the most exciting products oh my gosh <laughs> these smell so good so this is her okay i'm just gonna say it because i actually don't want to show the labels yet until she's like live just for her privacy on her business and her like design property so pretty much she provided me with the brown sugar body butter which bruh y'all i put this on today this is what it looks like yeah see that this is what it looks like it literally smells so good like it smells so 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 good like it lingers it's crazy because it doesn't smell crazy potent like when you open it you don't you don't just like start smelling it but when you put it close to your face you can smell it and then i had it on my body earlier and like i could still smell it so this is gonna be great like when she finally releases the um brown sugar body butter which is so good and then she also has the matching brown sugar body scrub literally smells oh it smells so good i can't stop smelling it. you know what it smells like it smells like a vanilla candle so i love that it smells so good i haven't used the body scrub yet she was asking me like have i used it yet sister girl no i haven't um but i will definitely use it and then let y'all know of course and then let my sister know but yeah i just but yeah i just wanted to show y'all what she had got me and then she also did give me this really cute card i want to just show this card because it's literally so cute and the card that oh my gosh yo i didn't even open it i did not know there was a third page <laughs> bitch oh <laughs> oh so yeah, I didn't even read this third part of the card, but yeah, I feel like this card, like I feel like all the cards that I got for my birthday were very on brand for like my personal goals and just like how I want to evolve as a woman and like as I grow up and just, you know, show up for people, show up for myself, that kind of thing. I feel like all the cards are very affirming to me. So I really cannot wait to see where, you know, 28 takes me and like next year and just like the rest of this year. So I'm just so blessed. I'm so grateful. There's not enough words to express the gratitude that I have actually like, ugh. like I really am so grateful because I wanted to make an even more thoughtful post than the post that I posted on Instagram because I really feel like your life is so important and it's so it's so beautiful when you can say that you have another year to your life or just that you can wake up in the morning because you know throughout my life i have definitely struggled with valuing myself and um but yeah like i've literally also have had times when i have contemplated suicide because when you get really depressed like there's no like hope there's no hope there were times when i literally didn't have any hope and i was hopeless and i really like envisioned myself not being here on the earth and i just wanted to end all my pain that i was going through and um i'm so glad that i didn't i'm so glad that i'm still here and i'm so glad that i'm just able to even testify to those type of experiences because it just makes people feel like they're less alone and even when i feel my most alone i know i'm not alone because when you die your soul is forever so there's so many people and souls around me like loving souls that i know i'm never alone even when i feel like i'm alone so i don't know i just have to really say that but yeah um we're gonna see where this vlog takes us i don't know what we're doing but i'll keep y'all posted hey y'all happy saturday so i also forgot to show y'all another gift that i don't can i you know what 
I also forgot to show y'all another gift when I had, you know, showed what I got for my birthday. And that is a gift from Nia, my good sis. And this was literally on my wish list. Um, but I did let her know this, this is what I wanted. So we have some Lego flowers. This is like a knockoff, but you know, it's from Amazon. And then I also know that this is the base for the, oh my gosh, and the base is so cute. I feel like putting this together right now. Let me see. I actually feel like putting this base together right now so, or vase. I feel like putting the flowers together right now. So that's what I will do. So yeah, I just wanted to give y'all that update and we'll just see what I do. Right now, it's literally so late in the Saturday and it's literally insane. Like, um, I've literally done nothing today. Like, literally nothing. But that's okay, like there's beauty in that because, oh my gosh, look at all the pieces. There's beauty in that because sometimes you need to do nothing. Like sometimes you don't need to be working, working, working all the time. And I really do be, I really am used to just always working and do, having something to do. So I kind of feel uncomfortable at times when I have nothing to do, but there's beauty in that. So I'm gonna try to find the beauty in that. Hey y'all, my hair is so crazy right now. Um, you know, today is Saturday, September 9th, and it's 8 18 p.m. at night, and I've literally done nothing today. And you know what? I feel absolutely totally okay with that. Like, I didn't really do shit today, you know. You know, I don't want to say I didn't do shit. Ooh. I don't want to say I didn't do shit because to be frank. I actually did my laundry and I cooked myself a breakfast and I made myself a late dinner, but I ate it as lunch. And right now I'm enjoying some vegan ice, vegan, vegan. Why did I just say it like that? I'm enjoying a little bit of some vegan Ben and Jerry's cookie dough ice cream. Like it's okay. I kind of had a feeling like if I bought this, it wasn't gonna hit as much as like the regular dairy one would but the chocolate chip cookie dough parts they are okay they're all pretty good they're good but it don't taste like you know real ice cream for real it just it just doesn't hit as like real ice cream would is what i'm trying to say but anyway that's besides the point the point is i really didn't do shit today and i feel okay with that i feel so okay with that so okay by that because i live a busy life in terms of I always have something to do. Like I literally always have something to do. So I'm just so thankful for when I can just chill. Yeah, I did see me earlier try to like, you know, try to work on these Lego, um, the Lego, the Lego, I can't talk today. The Lego um, flower bouquet, but y'all that stuff is hard. Like there's no written instructions, it's just pictures. So I'm feeling like a doofus, I'm not gonna lie. Like I thought I was doing it right now, I really just don't know. Like I'm stuck on like the first one. And I'm looking at like, I don't know, that thing looks like it's gonna take me a while to finish. <laughs> but it was cool because when I was working on it, 
I was very like focused on that. Like that's where my brain was. So I think that's great. I think it'll be like a little puzzle for me. But yeah, I'm just here about to watch Mike's vlog. But yeah, hope y'all are having a good weekend. Hey y'all, so I'm in downtown for the spring. Hopefully y'all can hear me. The music is kind of loud, but I'm on my way to go to Marshall's because I need to get a paddle brush for my hair because I actually need to wash my hair. Like That's why I have this hat on because everything is just sticking together right now. But yeah, I also hope that I also able to find you know just stuff for my hair and then i have to go to whole foods to um get a protein milk and also maybe like an avocado or something so we will see we will see okay y'all so made it to the hairbrush section i presume there's not too much here but i feel like these should do like this thing looks like it kind of moves a little i wish they had something that was just black not seeing anything of that sort but we'll figure it out okay so i found more paddle brushes Hey y'all, so I just wanted to do a quick haul. I just got back from Marshalls and Whole Foods, but y'all already told me pick up the stuff, but I already put the stuff, like the food stuff in my fridge already. So I figured I would just show y'all the hair products. So I picked up this Batiste dry shampoo in the original scent. I literally only picked it up because, well, I won't say just for the aesthetics, but like it literally matches the brush. I was like, this is just too cute. like. It just looked too cute together so i was like this is so nice so i picked it up but i also like the smell i felt like yeah i really like the smell so that's also why i got that but i'm excited to use this because um my hair is currently very oily and pretty much stuck together like it has no body like it, you see it's not moving it's like all the oils are like making it stuck together so yeah i plan on just using this because I actually do need to wash my hair. I'm gonna try to wash my hair maybe Wednesday this week, but I bought this just to see like what it would do. Just so like if I don't end up washing my hair, like we'll see how it goes. Cause I do have stuff coming up to do on the weekend. So yeah. And then I went ahead and bought a paddle brush for blow drying my hair so that I could be sure that, you know, everything gets, you know, the cuticles get smoothed down. And this is what they use. This is not the identical brush, but they use the paddle brush at the hair salon. So I was like, I don't have one of these. Let me get one of these. So I did. And then I also got this detangling brush. I've seen these all over Amazon. Low key could have probably went with one from Amazon. I feel like the brush handle is kind of small, but it's like that concept of a detangling brush. And I feel like this is so great. Like I have a Denman brush and I normally use that for detangling my hair, but I just feel like I need something that has more flexibility, especially since my hair is shorter and I just need more like ergonomical grip and that kind of stuff. So I feel like this would be great. So yeah, I picked this up and y'all the prices for this stuff was so good. Like this is $5. This was $5 and this was $10. This is 10 um, but let's see how much it was originally because I'm sure it was like 20 before. Maybe it was like 16 or something. I don't know. But when I was looking on Amazon, these brushes, oh yeah, it was like $17 before. So yeah, when I was actually looking on Amazon for these brushes, they was like costing 15 ten dollars for a brush i mean i get it but it's like you could really get it cheaper at marshall's so i'm just trying to put y'all on so yeah <laughs> okay y'all hopefully y'all can see me um taking taking my hat off <clears throat> i'm actually about to take a shower soon as well but like as y'all can see like my hair is like stuck together 
I need to wash my hair, but I just don't feel like doing it right now. So yeah, let me try to take this stuff. <laughs> We're gonna see. Um, a burst from this can can burst with this can of magic removes oil effectively, leaving hair looking clean and feeling all kinds of fabulous without drying it out with a zinc of zesty lemon combined with fresh florals seize the seize the day actually carp deem that's what that means um and sparkle by night give your hair a new lease on life with added body and texture between washes whenever you need it all hair types welcome okay so we gotta shake it <clears throat> All right, I don't really know how I'm gonna section my hair. Let me just, maybe I'll just do this. So. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I don't know what to expect. I feel like I've never really used dry shampoo before. I'm trying not to get it in my eye because that's what happened with this stuff, with the regular. I'm trying to see if it's doing something. Like it's getting all my hair because I feel like my hair looks white, but let me see. Do I feel like it's getting more body? Maybe I shouldn't use the same oily brush. Maybe that's what I need to stop doing. Like, I just, I just don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Let me see. As you can see, I feel like, <clears throat> I mean, I feel like it has some body now. Okay, y'all, so I kind of just went back through and like sprayed some more and I feel like it may have done something. Hopefully with time, I'll get better at using this type of stuff, but I mean, I feel like my hair has body now. Like it probably just absorbed some stuff, so cool but yeah this is how the bob is looking yeah it's been a week and two days so this is what we're looking like you know definitely it's not styled it's just like hair but i love i just love like i just feel like y'all know how i would always come on here with like a bonnet and like my hair is in a ponytail and you know right here is like a mess because obviously my hair got wet when i washed my face but I just feel like I'm doing something still. Like, I feel like not as busted. So, so yeah, that's what we're looking like. But yeah, um, it's getting late, so I'm going to just stop here. But yeah. Hey, y'all. Good morning. So, I look crazy, but I just wanted to provide an update on my hair after using the dry shampoo. I honestly feel like it did something like... I don't know why the light keeps changing, but basically when I woke up this morning and I like unwrapped my hair, I was like, oh, like it kind of seems like I have more flowiness to my hair. So I thought that was cool. So yeah, it definitely helps. I feel like you have to sleep with it overnight so it can absorb the oils. Cause my hair, like when I'm putting my hands through my hair, it doesn't really, it doesn't feel really oily. Like you can probably see like a little bit of shine, but it doesn't feel very like oily so that's cool but yeah um i went to the gym this morning did glutes had a pretty decent workout um i have so much work to do in the gym like seriously but we're trying to be gentle with ourselves but yeah it was a good workout i'm literally about to take a shower and get ready for the work day but yeah happy monday hey y'all so i just wanted to do a quick little 
unbox because I just got a Sephora pack. Gotch! Come on! I'm actually really annoyed because when I made my order, I purposely did not get my birthday gift with it because I was anticipating getting the fragrance gift this year because I have enough makeup. Like the only thing makeup related I could see myself ever buying again is just trying out like a higher end foundation. I'm planning on getting a NARS foundation pretty soon. And then obviously I'm always gonna be a purchaser of my Fenty gloss bomb. Cause I actually am running out of that. But I do not need any more makeup. Like I'm good on makeup. Like I got makeup for days, literally. But I did wanna show y'all what I got. And if y'all hear that noise in the background, I'm listening to healing chakra music. That's another thing that I really just love for my mental health and my overall well-being and higher abundant self. Like, if y'all are not listening to healing chakra music, y'all are not doing it right. Like, I don't know what to tell y'all, but y'all not really doing it right. Because healing chakra music, like, you know, I'm not here to, like, argue with folks. But when I tell you the other day, um, I'm trying to think what day was this. I think it was last Monday, actually. Yeah, I think it was last Monday because I didn't have work last Monday. So I was actually feeling really sad because there was something going on with my car. So I was like feeling so sad. And um, not only that, but I just felt like I had things going on like emotionally. But I have struggled a lot with being able to cry actually as I get older. Like I feel like I don't be crying as much. I used to cry so much when I was younger. When something was going on with me i would literally just cry like i would just cry and i guess i really got like a tougher heart because i don't just cry like so easily even though i have shown y'all like um i will tear up but like that's not me crying it's like just tears coming out of my eyes but, like if i was feeling badly about something and i would want to cry i could not cry i don't know what that was about but anyways going back to healing chakra music healing chakra music helped me last week like i literally bawled like bald and I felt so good it was so cathartic for me I hope that's the right word I'm pretty sure that's the right word but it really was I literally felt so much better like after crying I was so happy like I felt better so yeah anyways moving on just a quick little Sephora haul so I went ahead and picked up my handy dandy squalene cleanser oil cleanser from the ordinary i love this stuff um it's cheap but it's effective probably should go ahead and invest in the big body but we will do what we do with our 1.7 ounce so i use this for removing makeup like when i come home from wherever i might have worn makeup on that day i will obviously use a makeup wipe but then I also use this to like double cleanse my face before I use my acne washes because I just want to make sure I'm getting all the oil off and I have oily skin so using an oil cleanser helps with balancing out my oils as well so I just wanted to show you I got a new one of these and then I also picked up a another hyaluronic acid serum with B5 and I use serums for my skin, of course, because I'm trying to keep everything hydrated. We are moving into the winter months soon. It'll be fall, but then it'll be winter. And before you know it, it's going to be dry, crack season for the skin. And we are not doing that. Like, I'm not going to be walking around with my face peeling off. So, handy dandy. And then the other stuff were samples. So, I got a sample of the Fenty Hella Thick volumizing mascara y'all already know what this looks like probably i've never had this before but this is what it looks like and then i also got some samples from laneige so ooh, i'm so excited like especially since it's about to be winter like please please go ahead and get you one of these i don't have to buy the big body because this is gonna last me a good little bit but this is their lip sleeping mask and this stuff i've used it before like it's so good and then i also got a sample size of their water sleeping mask i love anything that's like a gel moisturizer type of deal just love that and then i also got the wishful yo glow 
it's an enzyme treatment I think this would be great for me because right now my skin I mean while my skin is not bad I have like dark like hyperpigmentation and all that like I don't really have texture issues right now but I do have a lot of hyperpigmentation which you know we could always try to clear up the skin even better so yeah that's what I have Oh, and then I also got a Paula's Choice BHA liquid exfoliant. So that is that. And then I get paid this Friday, so I'm planning on ordering another Sephora order so that I can get my birthday gift. I don't think I got to expand on what I was saying earlier, but pretty much I really wanted to get the perfume birthday gift because I already have enough makeup. I have plenty of skincare. I wanted to get a fragrance and the fragrances that they had were actually like, you know, like a decent, I think it was like a 0.5 ounce of perfume. It's not the little tiny ones that you would get when you typically get a perfume sample. It was like actual perfume. So it would have been nice. It was the Dior perfume and a Miss Dior perfume. And I would have loved to smell those, but they were totally, you know, not available in the stores and i don't know why they would only make them available in the stores like that's so not fair and yeah so that's that on that i'm on my little 15 i've literally talked and now i only have three minutes left on my break but yeah i will see y'all a little bit later okay y'all so just wanted to show y'all what i made for my dinner like tell me this does not look blum we have some tofu spinach peppers mushrooms and the simmer sauces from trader joe's the, the curry simmer sauces plus i added some more coconut milk just because those simmer sauces are salty so i added some more coconut milk just to help it not be as salty and added two scoops of tahini so it could just be nice and flavorful but yeah i cannot wait to eat this like this looks great y'all please get into the food like stop it this is a hundred percent plant-based baby protein packed like stop <laughs> no this is about to be so good seriously hey y'all so really quick um i just wanted to talk to y'all let me just turn this off really quick because this is loud i just wanted to talk to y'all because i just got finished with work and the call that I just had really just blew me because while the caller had a lot of things happening going on, like I put my active listening ears on and I just let her talk her shit. Like I just, sometimes toward the end of the day, I don't really have it in me to like be trying to get off the phone with these people as soon as possible. Even though like we really, like I went over my time. I was really annoyed by that because I need to do my hair and we all know how long it takes to do your hair. Anyways, I let her talk her shit and then toward the end of the call she was asking me if i knew what something was and at that point i was literally trying to tell her ma'am i've already helped you with everything else that i'm supposed to help you with on this call so if it doesn't pertain to that then i unfortunately i cannot listen to that i'm like i'm sorry i apologize but i cannot listen to what you are trying to share with me and I literally said that in the nicest way possible. <laughs> I literally just said it straight up like that because in my QAs and for my girls that do like, like if you work from home and you work in like a call center environment, like you know what I'm talking about. So in my QAs, like we have been told that we can do stuff like that to take control of the call because then we're going to be on the phone past the, you know, uh, what do you call that? past your you know regular intended call handle times because you're really not supposed to be on the phone past a certain point just to like average it out like i'm not really saying things properly but that's pretty much the gist but pretty much yeah i told her that and she, you know what she did because i finished i literally concluded my call with her i finished my call with her and you know what she did she literally was like okay and then she just started sharing out all the information that i literally told her no i cannot listen to this and then she just started sharing the information. I was just like, 
like are you i was i literally had to mute myself and i started laughing because i was like ain't no way like it was hilarious it was annoying and it was hilarious and i was just like i just know when they have to listen to that phone call back they're gonna be dying because i literally was like ma'am unfortunately i can't listen to you say what you have to say right now because i've already finished my call with you and then she just starts spitting whatever else she had to say out and i literally just sat there on the phone and I just had to listen to her because you can't hang up on them. <laughs> you can't hang up on them. So it was just like, wow. So yeah, anyways, y'all, I'm about to go wash my hair and get her fresh and get her nice and right. So we'll see what we do. We will see. Y'all, I just finished flat ironing my hair and I'm literally so tired. My legs are hurting so bad right now. Like I've been standing since like 6.15 and look at what the hair looks like. I don't even look like what the people did to my hair when I left the salon a week and a half ago. And now I'm like, oh my gosh, like I don't, I don't look right. I look like the girl from um, Chippy Neutron. <laughs> like. I don't understand. I don't know if it's my flat iron that's like not any good. I use 340. I don't know if I use too little of a temperature, but I am trying to heat train my hair, but I don't want to like do too crazy. But bitch, I'm not fucking with this. Like I need it to be smoother or something like, I don't know. But I just wanted to show y'all that. I don't know. Okay, y'all. I don't know what's wrong with my ISO. Like, I look washed out. I don't. Let me see if I turn this down. Let me see if I turn my light down. Has that done anything? Okay. So, what I did was I just bumped the end. So, first of all, it's giving styled. It's giving she's styled. But right now, I feel like I look like somebody's mom. So it's a little too like out at the bottom for me. I was looking at my pictures from when I went out the other night and it didn't look this like mushroomy, I feel. 
do y'all see this picture i don't look like that right now let's talk about that like that's not this i don't know maybe if i like brush it out i just feel like my flat iron is not that good so right now it's really giving mushroom now don't get me wrong like i still look cute as hell but like look how like i don't like that this is my first attempt at like doing my bob myself so we're gonna try to perfect it and then i'm gonna get a video up for y'all on how i maintain my bob at home because i can't drop 158 dollars every two weeks that's insane just to keep my hair styled i think not hey y'all so i just made it to yard house i'm supposed to be meeting tanika so yeah i'm walking over there now and then peep the sunset like it's so pretty right but i'm going there it's a yard house <laughs> but y'all my hair is like so messed up like i lightly bumped it when i left and like this side is like more curved than this side and i'm like hold on like it's giving crazy but yeah i'm trying to keep my arms down because my armpits what stains are really showing but yeah i'm so excited to see my girl We are leaving. What? Oh yeah, yard house. We are leaving yard house. Wait, where'd you park? I parked over there. Over here. Okay, I'm gonna walk you to. Okay, y'all. So me and Tanika are finished our little girls' night yes. dinner. So what do you think about tonight? <laughs> How was tonight? What do you? Who was texting me? Oh, that was you. I was like. <laughs> pictures but how do you think it was like it was really good yeah and i normally don't eat everything i always take food home <laughs> chef's kiss baby yes. chef's kiss mm -hmm. hey y'all so i did vlog a little bit you know when i was with tanika for our little girls night dinner but i really wanted to just ew those were my knees y'all sorry <laughs> But I really wanted to just show y'all really quick what she got me. I was still getting gifts for my birthday two weeks later. Excuse me. This is like the most probably gifts ever that I've ever gotten for my birthday in my probably entire life. I don't know. I don't know. I won't say entire life because I'm sure when I was a baby, I probably got like lots of stuff. But anywho, so Tanika, Tanika's sister girl got me a little... What are they calling this? A Coachell? It's like, I don't even know, but no. I got a little Coach Mini. It's actually a crossbody. It's so cute, y'all. Like, it's literally so cute. Like, 
this is so cute so it has like this gold crossbody and I don't have any pants on so I'm not gonna like pan down but like this is how the bag looks like on like this would have even been cute with what I wore today like I love like the like the taupey nude and then the brown and like the coach it's just like so cute and quaint and so like I feel like I could hold it like a little like a little tiny baby clutch but then it would be cute as like a little crossbody so yeah thank you so much Tin um I literally am just so blown away like I felt like I got spoiled this year um so yeah I really appreciate it and it's literally so cute like it's just so cute and I actually just can't wait to you know style my winter pieces and this will definitely be in that so yeah I'm about to go to sleep now though y'all and then I'm not vlogging tomorrow like I'm literally waking up early to go to the grocery store um maybe let y'all know like hey I went to the grocery store show y'all the stuff but not go through everything because I'm sure it's going to be a lot and then we'll see what happens on um, Sunday yeah, I hope y'all are having a great night and I will talk to y'all soon. Y'all, I'm literally so funny. I don't know why I thought this said it's giving pump. Like, no, it says the like, giving pump. Like, I'm just, I don't know. Hey y'all, so I just wanted to do a quick outfit of the day. I'm about to go to brunch really quick. Um, I wanted to show y'all the fit. So I have on this white button up top. I hope y'all can see me. I don't know, the lighting's kind of weird, but I have this white button up top from Boohoo. It's really long, but I just tucked it in. And then I have on my Virgo necklace from Pavoy. I'll link what I can in the description in the description and then for the makeup very light i just kind of like bronzed and blushed and obviously did my brows put on some mascara my lip combo is the nyx brown lip pencil with this wet and wild nude pink lipstick and then i just put some fenty beauty on top my bob middle part little piece to the side my earrings are from anna luisa my s studs will never give them up like I rhyme with these earrings forever. And then for the bag, I'm thinking I'm going to wear this coach bag that Tanika got me for my birthday. It's so cute. I love the gold detail. And then I'm going to wear sneakers because it's raining. My old Reeboks. They have like gold in them, so I feel like that would be really cute with the bag, the nude. And the jeans, the black jeans are from Forever 21. And yeah, I'm going to leave because we already know how it can get crazy in DC trying to park, so... Yeah, that's it. I will show y'all the food when I get there. Bye. Hey y'all, so I'm on my way to the restaurant. I'm so excited. I'm literally so excited to see them. <laughs> and I got a little gift for my supervisor because she recently bought a home so i got her little housewarming gift and y'all i look so cute like check out the bed it literally smells like wet dog right now and i have to literally go back and get my umbrella because i'm feeling rain droplets i don't know why i try to play myself and not bring my umbrella but like hell no i'm gonna get my umbrella my hair is already getting ruined yeah i had to go back and grab my umbrella because bitch let's be fucking for real I am not and I don't want my hair being ruined. Like I can't afford for my hair to be ruined. I've already been using a lot of heat, so it's just like, come on. But yeah, look at your girl. I feel like my skin is doing so much better too, so we love that. My mom has been rested, so I'm in the rest of the house. Oh. like the opening was like was like a disaster, but I guess like over time it's made really bad. I should enjoy it and should not enjoy it because of the actor. Hey y'all, uh, so I just got back home. Let me put my desk lamp on. I just got back home actually 
Uh, I actually made a stop at Nia's house and I was playing with her puppy. Yeah, but I was playing with Nia's dog and me and her were just catching up for a little bit, but I'm home now. My hair is like so messed up because I had my window down and like the wind was blowing clearly. And I do think my hair got a little wet from like maybe the trees that had water on them or something. But anywho, I'm back home. And before I continue, let me just put some lip gloss on really quick just, just to be on the safe side of things. But today was so much fun. I'm so glad I got to see the girls from... I keep calling it an internship, but yeah, that's that's like the best way I could describe it. But I don't have the internship anymore. So, anywho, yeah, I saw my like partial team members. One person was missing, but I saw everybody else, my supervisor and my other like, I guess you could call her my coworker. But honestly, I feel like they're like my friends. I don't feel like they're coworkers. They're like my friends. I don't even know. I feel like I just explained too much. But anywho um it was such a great time again we went to unconventional diner the food was so good like i have some pancakes left over that i'll probably eat for my breakfast tomorrow with with an egg or something but everything was pretty great afterward we just walked around and saw some parts of dc that i didn't really know about before because they were like these alleys that had businesses but then i was looking at them as photo op areas and i'm like listen i'm definitely coming back down here whether i come here with Nia or alone like I'm coming back down here to take my pictures because that's one thing about it but anywho yeah it was so much fun and um anywho I just want to hurry up and thank y'all so much I just want to thank y'all so much for watching this week's vlog um to be honest with you I don't know when I'll be posting another vlog because I'm trying to buckle down on some things that I'm working on right now but yeah y'all will see me really soon be sure to follow me on TikTok I'll probably be posting some things there if not on YouTube but yeah um, I'm just so grateful for all of y'all for you know keeping up with me tuning into my channel and trust me like I am gonna come back to YouTube soon but I am <laughs> oh my gosh my camera just cut off on me but yeah y'all like I am gonna take a little breaky break from making YouTube videos but I feel like it's specifically vlogs like I'm not gonna be vlogging but I am going to try to put out other kinds of content that are like more shorter form content um, even though vlogs can be shorter but it's just like I really do want to focus on what I have going on um, so yeah that's all I'll say for now but y'all will see me soon and if y'all not follow me on Instagram follow me on there follow me on TikTok once again but yeah I love y'all so much and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.